Hey guys, so I'm here to do another like curriculum video. So this one is exciting because it's October and our theme is Halloween. Before I start this video and show you guys our word wall words, um, a lot of people have asked me in PMs or like private messages and stuff or like um, private messages here on YouTube, what I use to like hold the words for the word wall, if that makes sense. I got that question a lot in the last video and I use one of these um, kind of pocket folder things. I don't remember the technical name. What kind of teacher was I that I can't remember the name of these? Um, but they sell them at Teacher Supply Store. I have seen Target some years at Back to School Happies, but um, if you Google word wall words, like right now I do that because it's simple and Jackson's young. We don't need super complicated things. Um, they come like pre-printable like this. Um, there's like a teacher resource website I use a lot for them. So that's what I use. You guys that have seen the Playroom Tour have probably seen that. Those of you that have it, now you know. Okay, so the Playroom is actually going to become the schoolroom here in the next month. And the playroom was going to move downstairs where our dining room was going, is, will have been, was. I don't know. I'm really tired. It's late at night. Oh, okay. <laughs> so our word wall is going to have these words for the month. They're just like Halloween stuff. Like, and little pictures like bone, pirate, witch, jack-o'-lantern, monster, mummy, skull, ghost, vampire, candy, pumpkin. It's really easy at a young age for toddlers to find some word wall words. Um, just introduce them constantly to new words, boost their language skills. And a lot of times, if you just Google Halloween themed word wall words, like stuff will pop up and like already pre-done for you. Now, as kids get older, sometimes you have to start making your own and they do have the option to print in color, but I haven't had a color printing, like color printer, I have a color printer. I haven't refilled my ink since I was a teacher, which has been a while. So moving right along, I'm just gonna try to like get in. This is like a disorganized mess, but I do have a lot of file folders and I cut one of my pumpkins off so I could show people if they just randomly found this video and now I can't find my pumpkin. Okay, I am back. All right. So file folders, I introduced I introduced y'all to these last time with our dinosaur curriculum. They're literally file folders that I have colored myself because you know, the whole printer ink situation. Um, just Googled a pumpkin, made some tiny pumpkins, glued and laminated everything at the teacher store. And, oh, whoo, hello. Um, so Jackson can just match the little pumpkins. He loves matching colors right now. Um, I was, I had every intention of doing a match because he also likes matching pictures. So like if I had a picture, like four different pictures of which, but they were all different, he would really enjoy matching them. For that, obviously I would need to cut, cut <laughs> print the colored pictures, but Everything going on in my life right now, it didn't happen, unfortunately. I'm hoping to do something like that for next month, which is November, which will be more of a fall Thanksgiving theme. So on that note, I did do one fall Thanksgiving file folder. You guys can see, and I'm not gonna pull out all those little pieces for all these, because then they will get lost. But um, here's a ghost one we did for this month. And you can just staple a Ziploc bag to like this side of the file folder. Sometimes if you don't have anything up here, you can um, staple it here and then just put the pieces in and zip it up. Um, or you can paper clip the baggies on. So we have a pumpkin one and lastly we have bats. So that got messed up in the laminator. <laughs> it came out and I was like, what on earth? I think it heated up my glue and shifted it, but you know, it's okay. So those are our file folders for the month. 
Um, and if you have older kids or you're teaching an older class, just look on like Pinterest for file folder ideas. I, I'm not sure if they have them, but they should. I mean, I know teachers use Pinterest, but file folders are great ways to like come up with new curriculum work every single month and it's cheap and it changes and kids like the variety. So, um, kids thrive on their routine of their like centers and stuff, but every time doing something different, changing it up. Um, all right. So a lot of my stuff came from the dollar store and I'm very, very excited about it. At the end of this, we're going to put together his sensory box. So the one that will be in here, we also have like a really fun food sensory box kind of we're going to do. And I will show you guys that right now if I can find. Okay. So I got this kettle at the dollar store. It's super cute, right? I'm going to dye spaghetti, like boil it and dye it green. So it'll be like slimy and, you know, green and icky looking. And I'm going to mix these eyeballs in there. And so it will be like, um, I don't know, like an eyeball spaghetti stew. It's just like a fun sensory experience for him. And uh, yeah, I thought that would be super fun because it will be like slimy and gross and his sensory, but also like, I don't know, little boys like gross stuff. So I thought that would be one really fun sensory project. And then, well not project, but sensory experience. And then, hmm, okay, I guess it's in this one. And then I'm going to make a sensory bottle as well. Um, if you don't know what those are, just Google sensory bottles. I don't want to like knock the lights over and stuff trying to get one. You know what? I'm going to though because if you're randomly finding this video, you're going to be like, what's a sensory bottle? Okay, so just going to do this in case people are on here and they don't know what a sensory bottle is. This was our Valentine's Day sensory bottle. As you can see, the glitter just keeps going. It's a, they can also, these are called calm down jars um, or calm down bottles because, um, like when kids are upset, you can shake it and give it to them, tell them to watch it. By the time it all kind of settles, they should be calmed down. <laughs> okay, so um, this is a sensory. So that's made with um, water, glitter, and um, a clear glue solution. Um, and this one's different. This is water, oil. Um, I can't remember what this stuff is called. That I have it's like a shimmer dust and glitter this was our St. Patrick's Day one but you see how like there's um you can see the oil in there changes things if that makes sense this is not showing up well on camera but there's like bubbles inside of it if that makes sense so the, you can mix it with oil the one I'm gonna do it and I use the Voss water bottles because they just look nice and clean the one I'm going to do is going to be all oil this time, so things are suspended and they float down, and it's baby oil by the way, they float down really slow. I have not made that yet. I'm going to be making it this weekend. Um, we'll be starting Monday, October 2nd with our sensory thing. So inside, like our sensory thing, our October stuff. I'm sorry you guys. <sighs> I'm so tired. Um, Alright, so. One of the things I'm going to be putting in there is some of these like little pom-poms. I can't even talk to you guys. I'm just, I'm so tired because Jackson's sick and like he's not sleeping, but he hasn't been sleeping good the past two weeks. And so that means mommy doesn't sleep good. And so I'm just, it's all like catching up to me. Okay. So I've got to like dig around, but pom-poms and I think I have some little like fake spiders to float around in there. I thought that would be fun. Let's see. And I have some of these like icky creature things. I'm probably gonna put one of them in, but that's also for a sensory bin. I can't find the other stuff. Okay, well, I have fake spiders somewhere in here, and so I'm gonna float a few fake spiders, the little pom-poms, and like one of those like crittery things too. Um, but like I said, I'm pretty positive I'm going to do a full baby oil one, which will just make 
everything go really slow, but it would also work good to do the water and the glue. So I don't know. I might do one or the other. I'll decide tomorrow. But um, okay. So I really can't find those spiders. It's going to bother me. All right. So we're going to go over the books next. That'll help me find stuff, I think. Um, yeah, there's some stuff in here too that's going to help. So I usually go now, like I look on Amazon because I can find stuff really cheap on Amazon, themed books, but I also go to half price books. That place is my best friend. If you're a teacher or you homeschool, all you have to do is show your ID or some form of like proving you homeschool and you on top of everything else get a 10% discount and you can even use that on clearance stuff. So that's definitely a big plus. I think I paid 20 bucks for all these books total. So I got Corduroy's Best Halloween Ever. So there's that one. I'm just going to put it on the floor. So I don't have a lot of space here. Oh, Elmo. This is Elmo. Basically a Sesame Street book, but Elmo's in it, which is Jackson's fave. So this is a spooky sleep out. This is Spooky Hour. I really love scholastic books. So this is a scholastic book I found. And if you want like if your baby is smaller and you I've been doing like stuff with Jackson, like this like themed books and stuff since he was six months old. So if your baby is smaller like that, you can find hard books at Target and just buy less because they will be full price. I couldn't really find any of the hard books at um like you know um half price books, but for Jackson with these books, I leave him out and we're kind of doing it together. So he is kind of rough on books now, but the books that are on his bookshelf in here, because I'm in the room and we're interacting together and doing schoolwork together, he is more gentle on these. But that's also why I don't buy full price books because, and I don't go to the library because he will break some of his books. <laughs> so um, this is Arthur's Halloween. He really loves the Arthur books. This is The Ugly Pumpkin. I thought this book was really cute. I was reading through it in the store. So some of these books that are just like pumpkin-y or fall-y, I will keep, fall is that a word? I will keep it for um, the next month, November. Like I said, it's gonna be like Thanksgiving and fall, but they did have a lot of Thanksgiving books. So towards the middle of the month, I'll be hitting half price books up again to prepare for November. And then in, thank God in December, I have a ton from last year. So the run the runaway pumpkin, but that was cute. Um, it's pumpkin time, and some of these like a lot of these are scholastic books, which like I said I absolutely love. And I do try not to get too much too much like babyish books so that they grow with him probably over the next five to six years. Um, this one will be great for next month. It's let it fall. Like I said, I was really surprised. Surprised. I cannot talk to it. Really, it's like midnight, y'all. I was really surprised that they had a good fall and Thanksgiving section. They had like a whole dedicated section. Oh, these books are really good. There was an old lady who swallowed a bat. So, um, the one book I probably will go buy from Target is the Llama Llama book because we love the Llama Llama books. Jackson loves them. He's my little baby llama. So, the 13 Days of Halloween. So... Another Scholastic Haunted House Mouse. I'm so excited to read these with him. And the last one, like I said, I'm going to go buy the Llama Llama one, but that's the only one I'm paying full price for. But at, let's see, at the old haunted house. So Jackson really loves reading. Um, and some of this has counting. And like I said, some of these books will just grow with him, you know. Some of these books he can be reading to like even eight and nine. So I'd always, you know, go for stuff that is around age appropriate, developmentally appropriate, but always kind of like plan for the future if you're investing in things like books. Because even though all that was like $23, it was still $23, you know. So just some food for thought. Okay, so ah, I did find this little art project. 
at Target. Ta Target Dollar Spot has been awesome too. And last year we made a big canvas art for every single holiday. That will be like his artwork we put out every year, but from his first, his first Thanksgiving, his first Halloween, all that. Um, so this year the artwork we're going to do is probably going to be a little smaller. And so I found this cute little bat that I thought would be sweet and I could put it in his little box, you know, his keepsake, and it won't take up too much room. So we do have that little project and we will do like art projects that aren't like huge like keepsake things I need to keep. They're like paper that I can keep in like a portfolio that I save of his artwork. Um, okay, let's see. I found this. I thought this was really cute for art again, um, except I was going to do like print out a image of a pumpkin that he can color. And then once he's colored it, I was going to let him you know, decorate it with these stickers. Um, it says works on real and wax pumpkins. This was from Target as well. But I thought, you know, for his age, it would be really fun to put on a piece of paper that he's colored and made a pumpkin out of. So, and I really like that it said it works on wax pumpkins because, not wax pumpkins, fake pumpkins, because fake pumpkins are kind of waxy. So I know that if he, you know, colors it with crown and it's kind of waxy, these will stick in for like a long time. Um, I try to keep like a lot of his little artwork in a portfolio, which is, I'm gonna have like a million things by the time he's an adult, but whatever. Okay, I found the thing I was going to put inside that jar. It wasn't the little critter, critter things. I was gonna put one of these little sticky hands in there, and these were $3. It was in the Target like party, party section or whatever, in the Halloween section. These were like $3 and I thought it'd be fun in a sensory bottle because the fingers will separate and I was like maybe look like a hand waving, I don't know. Or it could just like like a big glob of stickiness, we'll just have to see. But I thought those were super fun and um, the rest of them are gonna go in the sensory bin that we're gonna build at the end of this. So another thing for the sensory bin is they had a bunch of these. So I got the mummy, I got the spider and I thought I got one more besides the witch. I thought I got the zombie, but maybe not. Um, so they all do this pretty much. I'm, they're like really sticky and like squishy feeling, but they also do this. They, why isn't it showing on camera? Can you, oh, I guess because I have like my studio light out, but they light up like a lot. It's really not doing it justice because of my lighting. Um, so yeah, maybe it'll work better on, y'all see it better on that? No, not at all. It lights up a lot. Why is, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, not at all. That didn't help anything. <laughs> I mean, oh well. Like, yeah. Okay, well if you're in Target, go in the dollar section and squish one. So that's gonna go in the bin again that we'll see at the end of this. I'm trying to like clear the bin out that's here now while I talk so that um, we can do this at the end. I'm gonna move his old file folders. I kind of have been using the bin as like a collection bin um, on and off like as I get new things for the month of October um, because he kind of like, we had the hurricane so September's curriculum was just August carryover because I could not, like I just, it was, I, I didn't have time with the hurricane and places being closed and places needing to recover. I didn't have the time to go collect all this stuff last minute because the weekend of Hurricane Harvey was the weekend I was going to do all that. So I was like, you know what, we're doing dinosaurs for two months. Okay. So, oh, I got these eyeballs for, you know, art projects also to go in the sensory bottle. Forgot about that. So there are some random things and I'm gonna kind of like go over what they're for. So I'm gonna take a laundry basket and yarn, white yarn, and I'm gonna take the yarn after I place these items in the bottom of the laundry basket and I'm gonna weave all in the laundry basket and basically make like a giant spider web that is like difficult to maneuver through and he's gonna really have to work his fine motor skills and critical thinking to get his hand down there to pull these bigger items I got that will kind of like pique his interest, you know? So 
that's going to work on his critical thinking and his fine motor skills going through this big spider web basket to get the items he's interested in. Um, and of course we'll do it more than just one day. For me being an adult, it's easy for me to work this stuff through the web and put it in the bottom. But for him being a 16 month old toddler, he, it's going to take some critical thinking. Okay, problem solving. How am I going to get this stuff out? So for that, I got this skull to put in the bottom. And some of these things I actually think I already have for Halloween decorations, but they're all stored up in the attic and I don't think I'm pulling them out this year. So I just bought new stuff. Um, I don't know what, I might put this in the bottom, but I also kind of want to use this for something, maybe in his little house as decorations. But I saw it and I was like, that is so awesome. It's little LED pumpkins. And they got it at the Dollar Tree, so I'm not gonna like untie it all right now, but I might kind of put that around the bottom to really like get his interest going. Um, supervised with that kind of stuff, of course, because it's strangulation hazard with the um, cord. Let's see, did we go through all that? Yeah, we went through all that. All right, so this is the last bag. This is to go at the bottom of that laundry basket. Um, this little rat and he was with me when I bought this stuff and he was finding some stuff really interesting and some stuff not so the stuff that like piqued his interest is the stuff I went ahead and bought um, here's another spider the texture of it's different so um, this one I think is going to go in this sensory bin with the squishies and stuff so um, I don't know one of these yeah, I think this one's going to go in the sensory bin with the squishy stuff. Um, I'll show you guys this stuff in a minute. Okay. So here is the stuff for the sensory bin also. Okay. There was one thing that we got, and apparently when I was looking, he threw it out of the basket, and Justin was like, oh, and then put it back on the shelf. And it was like this skeleton bird thing, which I'm probably going to go back for this weekend, but... Try not to be too loud with these. So there's this witch and this ghost. And I'm going to put them in the bottom too. Try to turn this on. I don't know how loud this is going to be. So I don't know if I actually want to do this. We'll just see. It changes colors too. God. I'm surprised my dogs didn't go crazy. <clears throat> I was like, so y'all can go ahead, y'all can go ahead and imagine what this one does. It cackles. I'm not gonna turn it on because oh my gosh, you grabbed my hair. I don't want the dogs to go crazy and wake Jackson up. So yeah. Those items I just showed you, the big ones, are gonna go in the bottom of that kind of spider web situation and hopefully like help him work on those things we talked about. I need to put all that back in a bag separately. And then I'm gonna go back for that bird skeleton thing, like I said. Um, he seems pretty interested in that. So it's a good amount of stuff for that laundry bin thing I'm talking about. All right. Okay, so that's the laundry bin kind of thing I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> ah. All right, so I got these. It's funny because I... Uh, I actually have these from like from the Dollar Tree from like five years ago at my Halloween parties. We would use them to get the chips out. They're like two little hand stick things and they're like tongs. I'm actually going to undo them now so I can show you guys how like great this can be for fine motor critical thinking problem solving. So I'm going to take a very shallow kind of bin probably like um a cake dish like a rectangular one that's like metal though obviously not glass and we're gonna put some of his balls in them you can use like sensory balls he has a bunch of different shapes and textures sensory balls and because he's older and he's pretty advanced on fine motor i'm probably gonna go ahead and use his those because they're different shapes and textures and so it'll be different every time he does this but you can use like ball pit balls or like really anything so I'm gonna have him use both hands and take these skeleton hands and try to pick up the balls, you know, see, does he have any balls over here? None that are in reach, but I will just grab something random. 
you know, pick the stuff up like this and get him to use his critical thinking. I'm talking with these like they're in my hand. His critical thinking, um, fine motor skills, problem solving, and have him try to pick stuff up like that. So I thought that would be really fun, Halloween related, but also, you know, working those skills I talked about. Hey guys, I found this one thing I actually forgot about. So these are Grow Witches and Grow Mummies, and we are going to use these as a science project and watch them grow over a few days. All right, lastly, let's do our sensory bin for the month. So, oh, here's the spiders. That is not enough spiders. I'm gonna have to go buy more spiders. So I'm using this as like a base of texture like a layer of texture like my main layer of texture so for the dinosaurs I went ahead and used this paper grass I use a lot sometimes I use different colors I use the green one for like the dinosaur habitat but I need to put that I reuse these I know you can get this from the dollar store but this is like four packages of green grass and I use it so much like St. Patrick's Day I used it for dinosaurs now when he's older next year for dinosaurs I can start using stuff like black beans and well, maybe not next year, but as they get older, you can start, you know, using rocks and stuff like that. But when they're really young, even though you're supervising, it's just, it's just a better idea to go with stuff you know is safe, even when you're supervising. So this is my, his sensory tub bin that we use all the time for everything. So I bought this fake spider web at the um, Dollar Tree and we're gonna use that as like our base of, I don't know, something textured. So, oh wow, this, this stuff, I was debating if I should buy one or two of these and I'm glad I just bought one because it really, let's see, can y'all see this? Y'all see that? It's really different, obviously, because it's Dollar Tree. It's different than the stuff in the store but I like this stuff better, I feel like, it's gonna be more interesting. I'm not gonna completely pull it all and undo it myself. I'm gonna let him do some of that as a part of like just the sensory experience of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave those little spiders. They're in there and there for him to discover. Just stretch it out enough. Okay, so we have that as like one layer of sensory stuff. Okay, so here are those little crittery things I was talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and pull one purple one and just see if I want it in that sensory um, bar. Bar. And the sensory bottle. Oh my gosh. I probably sound like I've been at a bar right now. I'm just like fibro fogged, fatigued, tired. <laughs> uh, honestly, I mean, I feel like I'm saying sensory a lot in this video. I was watching one of my old videos, not watching, I wasn't watching it. I got a comment on it, so it made me look. It was last year's <laughs> Christmas, what I got my baby for Christmas video. And the person's like, I don't know what they said. They're like, if you say educational one more time or something. And I was like, you know what? I feel like being a smart ass today. So I was like, educational, educational, educational. I'm sure. I don't know if they ever even read it, but I was like, I'm thinking, that's gonna annoy somebody. I must have said sensory 10 times. Shit people get annoyed about on YouTube. It's like, just stop watching it then. Because honestly, YouTubers don't care about people like that. Like, oh my God, you random stranger who found my video are gonna tell me off because you don't like how many times I say something. I don't give a you know what, okay. All right, so this little, can y'all see now he's out of the package? He's very like squishy and fun. So I'm gonna put him in there. And I'm gonna show you guys this is once I'm done. I'm just kind of like getting it together now. Um, and having a heart to heart, I guess, with you guys. Ah! Okay. And then we have the light up spider. They've got these little tags. Like they're already in a package. I don't know why they're putting these tags too. It's annoying because it's like I'm trying not to like break their stretchy legs. So, little squishy spider. You put him in there. There's the witch. I feel like I got them all right now. I'm missing those little. I've got spider web in my hair already. 
It's gonna be a fun month with all that spider web stuff. All right, this is the witch. All right. I'm gonna make Jackson, speaking of witch, I'm gonna make him a shirt that says, uh, witch better have my candy. Y'all get it right, witch. Um, but I'm like, somebody's gonna be offended by that when they put it together. Um, all right, so that's Little Witch. She's definitely not even showing her light up stuff in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this big spider. Okay, you know, I think I'm just not gonna buy any more of the little spiders. I think it'll be okay with the eyeballs floating. So here's that big kind of like um, textured spider. And then I don't know, okay there. I don't know if I'm gonna use all these. Um, okay. Let's see how these actually look when they're unrolled. Okay, so <laughs> these are the little hands. Aren't they fun? I'm gonna put a few of them in there. A part of me is like, maybe I'll save a couple for next year, but then I'm like, Ugh. somebody asked me one time a really good question. Would I show, because I save these things, I find things on sale, I save them for the next year. Like, can I see how you organize all this? And I was like, I think that's a really good question. If I had my life together enough, they would be organized. But honestly, if y'all could see the closet in here in the playroom slash my office, it's a huge closet. It's bigger than Jackson's closet. You can walk into it. It is literally just all this stuff that's saved it is like in tubs and it's all mixed up. You know, I don't have any kind, I'm a very organized person, but not when it comes to this stuff. So put another hand in. It's just all mixed up. It's a hot mess. Like honestly, I wish I was organized with it and I think eventually I'm going to have to get organized with it to be honest, you know, I'm going to have to, but it's like not organized now. So that's just where my life's at. I am, I'm only gonna put one of these because I can tell because they're so like squishy and sticky. The, um, the fake, web is really going to get stuck on these so I definitely want to have some they gotta last a whole month and if they're not lasting I have extras to put in there but if they do last you know then that's fine because I can save the others for next year so I think we're done and I can show you guys the sensory bin all right so here is his sensory bin Stuff feels so soft, but like stringy. He's really gonna have fun with this. Um, let me see if I can get these. There you go. Now y'all can see him. Um, see what I mean about? Well, I guess that's not sticking too bad. Well, this lady, she doesn't want to get her life to. Oh no! I got a broken witch, y'all. I'm gonna have to go get him another one. Hopefully they slap him. But you guys see, just like a lot of fun stuff that will feel different textures and whatnot when he's in here. So this will be his main sensory box and then he'll have the ooey gooey eyeball spaghetti stuff too. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying my best to kind of do these kind of videos before we start a curriculum because a lot of you guys said you really like them, you really appreciate them, you wanna start homeschool, preschooling your child. Um, some of you guys are preschool teachers that said it really helps you out. So I hope you enjoy them. Um, let me know if y'all want to continue to see them. I'll continue to make them. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.